Hi, Metropolis. Josh here in Los Angeles. In this area, at least until the age of 25, life is all about the booze. That's all my friends and I did as we grew up. And Bobby is the perfect example. He still drinks. Well, we all still drink, but he still drinks a lot, regularly. Let's go see what he has to say. Bobby to go make a drink. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, quiet, quiet, quiet. I see America drinking the fabulous drinks that I make. I see America getting stinking off of something I stir a shake. <laughs> Sex on the beach, their schnapps made from peach, the froth and hammer, the Alabama slammer. I make drinks so sweet and snazzy, the iced tea, the kamikaze. But. If you want to get loaded, why don't you just order a shot? Drink. There you go. Drink. I like drinking beer, and I like to get drunk, and I like. Getting high in my life, passing by, and I like in the wind, and I like the evil greens. And we're down now. Americans love beer. We like to drink it, and lots of it. I wish they had a 24 of cans. It's always been a means of celebrating. Once it came to the Americas, you know, we just always like to make everything bigger and better than everyone else. So we always try to outdo everyone by drinking heavily and finding new ways of doing it. <laughs> There's Power Hour, Century Club, Beirut, Card Games, Beer Pong, Ice Illusion, The Octobong, which is an eight person beer bong. I played a few of those in my day. Good times. <laughs> and beer consumption is the biggest thing. All right, rules. So, you cannot leave second base until you have chugged a beer. The players in the field have to have their beer on them at all times. You have to have it in your hand. Every day there's new games coming out that are getting people fucked up. I'm sure if we could figure out a way to use a squirrel in a drinking game, we would do it. <laughs> Who brought the squirrel? <laughs> Let's get squirreled! <laughs> First thing in the morning, what we are doing right here is the strikeout. It consists of taking a hit, holding it in, then taking a shot, and finishing a brew. And uh, then exhaling the smoke. Strikeout. Why so early in the morning? It, it, it gets you a nice little buzz. Kind of counteracts a hangover sometimes. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> What's the most you've ever drank? I actually remember this. I've had 25 beers and five shots. That's pretty good. My record is uh, 12 beers, um, two bottles of wine. Twelve beers. Two bottles of wine, dude. I'm just Come kidding. On. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy. Um. <laughs> Why did you kill the others? It was all supposed to go so smoothly. Bobby's been out of high school for five years. He always seemed like, "Oh, mom, I'll never do that." When I 
you know, ultimately found out he was. When young people now graduate oh, from college, you. they don't immediately oh, go into perfect. a mode of accepting a lot of responsibility, a job, nice. a family, and, you know, yeah. it's easier just to sit back and smoke marijuana yeah. and drink and party. Oh. <laughs> Partly, too, right now, in the last few years, I think for a lot of young people, there's a sense of hopelessness as far as going out and finding the job that they've worked hard to get. You know, can't do what I really want to do right now anyway. This is uh, my current form of employment. I got one ounce here. I have another ounce here. And then I have about two ounces in here of uh, premium grade uh, Blue Dream. How much do you pull in a month? Cash? So why, are you, why are you showing him that crack? 200. About 200. But I also get to smoke as often as I want to, get to get my buzz going the entire time. And then also I get to go out to bars when I feel like, get meals when I feel like. I'm able to live very comfortably. What What's your status right now in terms of jobs? Uh, I am currently unemployed. Um, there's nothing wrong with being unemployed. <laughs> yeah. We refer to it as fun employed because you know we have more fun. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Fail! You gotta drink all that now. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't have to give you a dollar. So now Bonnie has to drink all that. It's a lifestyle choice, right? You know, you know, I could have a job, but do I want that job? Yeah, let me manage a pet smart, you know. No thank you. Don't throw your minor at me. <laughs> <laughs> I think in a way it zaps them of motivation in many respects. Maybe they don't care. It's easier just to sit back and smoke marijuana and have, you know, and drink and party. And look at the education you all have. I mean, that's amazing to me. So if I drink a beer today, it was a mighty fine beer I had I like to drink with beer Every day that I can But I like everything about this beer I had today But I want another I want another beer Yeah I don't think it's really hit me in a negative way yet, let's say. Yeah. Do you think it's possible that it could? Oh, definitely. What would that be? Alcoholism is always, you know, no one knows if they're going to be an alcoholic or not. Um, well, you're a textbook alcoholic already. <laughs> Aren't you? No, because I don't need to drink every day. <laughs>